Hey, what's up, Tendo? This is Commonwealth, and welcome to another bi monthly visit from Broken Tour. Actually, more like the third visit since it is the 29th, I believe. Yeah, this is the 80th rotation, and let's see what he has. Today, he'll be on Orcus Relay, and this is for PC. And don't forget to enter Orcus Relay, you have to be Mastery Rank 8 and above. So, right off the bat, we have a new sentinel accessory. It is the Kavat Sentinel Tail. And for 400 ducats and 250k credits, you can get this. Uh, apparently, it is a new set of accessory series for the Sentinel. Yeah, and it's, and it's the Kavat series, of course. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think. Um, has a tail like a Kavat. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Adaza or Smita, but uh, it's kind of cool. Adds a bit of flair. Kind of giving Sentinels a chance lately, so uh, I've been using that a lot more. Sentinels. Uh, and yeah, we have the electric mods. They are returning. This is a valuable rotation. For those, if you don't have any of these mods, buy all of them. And I mean all of them, because... Uh, it is very imperative because electricity mods are very hard to come by, uh, let alone uh, being dropped by enemies. But yeah, um, electric mods are very valuable, they're very important in doing corrosive and I believe gas builds. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yes, these four, this is, uh, this is a no-brainer. If you don't have it, get it. Uh, if you need extra plot, <laughs> Uh, get these, but yeah. Moving on, we have the Prisma Tetro turning. Uh, I haven't really used this weapon too much. Some might say it's fodder. I think it's an interesting rapid fire weapon uh, from the Corpus. Actually, reminds me a lot of the um, what was it? That assault rifle, I think from Dead Space One or Two. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's a kind of a reminiscent design from that. But yeah, we have the Prisma Angstrom. I believe this is its second time returning. But yeah, I actually have this weapon. I really love this weapon. Give it a try. It's actually pretty powerful compared to its counterpart. Um, I think it is the blast damage weapon. Uh, yep. Yeah, try it. I actually like this weapon a lot. And we have the complete Katir Force uh, Katir Force armor set from Baroque Katir. Uh, this is a new set that came out this year, and now it's back as a whole in rotation, so uh, I like this set, it's interesting, it's very minimal, very angular as usual from Brokitir, which is his aesthetic. And we have the Syphos Prisma skin, uh, not really a Syphos uh, user, let alone, I'm, I think I'm like one part away from getting the ship. Uh, but I think it's cool. I like the Prisma skin. Got the skin, don't have the ship yet. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, just because I'm still using the... The, what is it? The... What is the name of it? Oh, the Prime Lisette skin, which I dearly beloved. Uh, we have the Nexus Gene Masking Kit. Uh, another uh, alternative way to get some more colors and patterns for your Kavat. If you haven't already, without having to use plot, we have uh, Pyrus Agatra returning. This is a very classic, uh, very cool-looking flame Sugatra. I think it's the only animated Sugatra that we have at the moment, um, but very cool. Adds a lot of flair to your weapon if you're into uh, weapon fashioning. Is that, is that a thing? <laughs> And we have the three returning beacons, Goosedrag, Stalker, and Zunika. Use one of these and they will appear in the field. Instead of having to get, or rank up, or um, how do I say, stash up uh, boss boss marks? Yeah, from killing bosses. But yeah, uh, if you need a certain something, if you want to gamble RNG, use one of these three beacons. Uh, we have the Katir Solstice sign down returning for a third rotation this month. I think that's really cool, the DE, because I believe last year they only made the sign down available for like one rotation out of December, but I think it's great that they're bringing the Solstice sign down uh, for the whole month of December of rotations, so that's great, so this is probably the last time you'll see it 
uh, unless they do another Baruch tier uh, special relay thing for Tenacon, which I'm pretty sure they will, but grab it now if you haven't, so you can save your ducats for that event later on for Tenacon. Uh, we have Pedestal Prime returning, uh, I'm probably going to buy one more because uh, these things are really nice. And I and plus with the uh, IKEA for uh, was it IKEA uh, update that we all got? I, I think this would be a nice addition if you have some plot, uh, not plot, some some creds to burn. Uh, but yeah, uh, we got some Katir fireworks which I have not tried yet. Might give that a try for 100k maybe. I don't know. That's a lot to burn. Uh, the Katir Sentinel Mask, which I think is pretty sweet. Yet again, I'm a sucker for Katir's aesthetic. Not many people are, but I am. Uh, yes, I want to try this on my Sentinel. Uh, Falcon Mod Pack, please do not waste your ducats on this. Please, that's just a no-brainer. Every mod that you'll get in this pack, you'll probably get just from playing the game. Uh, same thing for the Dragon. You probably might just get maybe just a bit better mods, but no. Uh, three day affinity booster. If you really need to level up your we weapons, or if you've been formering some weapons and you don't want to spend too much time, uh, sure, get yourself an affinity booster. And Sands of Anaros. Uh, I don't need to say anything about that. Uh, but yes, I think the highlight for this rotation is Electric Mods. Get. If you have extra ducats and credits, get and sell for plat if you need it. Uh, Prisma Tetra, I would say go for the Prisma Angstrom first before you go for the Prisma Tetra. Uh, the Prisma Angstrom is very powerful, uh, just because of its innate multi-shot, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. It's because I, I, I use a, a multi-shot, I use multi-shot mods on this all the time. Uh, some of the noteworthy cosmetics, this is more for me, I think it's kind of unique because I've been giving other cosmetics a chance, but... Uh, Kavat Sentinel Tail, uh, and Pyros Gatra, and, uh, and Katir Force, th the Katir Force, uh, Armor Set series. It's been new this year, uh, get it if you want. It's probably, it's probably not gonna be in rotation for another, uh, few months, or a while, so, yeah. Yeah, guys, this is the 80th rotation of Broken Tier on PC. So yeah, if you have any comments or anything that's interesting pertaining to this rotation, leave a comment f below. If you like this video, please leave a like and a sub, and that will go a long way for me. And thank you so much, and see you in the next video, Tano. See you guys.